Hello friends, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the gas station. This is Monday night and I'm doing a, a from the gas station chat. Been a while. Uh, this is Monday, the 21st of August. Man, it's flying by, holy crap. What's going on? Had a great live stream Saturday night. Those are always fun. And uh, got the new rule of no ed for the first hour and a half. Then it's a free-for-all on anybody. <laughs> so, be careful. It might be you next. Uh, nah, it's just fun, you know. If you can't have fun, what's the point doing it? Because you don't make any money doing this anymore. So you got to have fun with it. And you know what? I've kind of come to the conclusion that people already have their minds set. You know what I mean? You can't anymore, you cannot convince people they need to start getting prepared for anything. You can't encourage it. You can't tell them. You can't make them understand how important it is. It's already done. So us who are prepared, we will continue on and I will continue, you know, trying to encourage people, but I don't think it's going to happen. I don't, people already have made up their minds as to what's going on. And if they cannot see or have that sense of urgency that I've been feeling, then what's the point? I'm not going to use this channel to try to, to convince anybody of anything that's going on. Now, I think for uh, uh, a lot of channels, they try to do that. And then they wonder why views are going down. And they wonder why subscribers are going down. Nobody wants to hear that anymore. I think that's what it is. I think the, the country is starting to suffer not the country, well, the country, but also this YouTube genre of preppers. And, and there, there's so many of them preaching the same thing. It's burning out. You know, I'm burning out on YouTube. You know, I'm, I'm not... I'm not giving it up because, like I said, I do have fun and I do have some things to teach people. Um, and I will keep doing updates and, and recaps, you know, on my house build to try to help people out, give them ideas, do the reviews. Uh, I've got a company sending me a 10 by 10 garden shed. You know, I don't, I, I'm having a hard time figuring out what to do with it because I don't need storage. I need to do the video because not only do I get the free shed, but they're also paying me to do a video. So yeah, I, as long as I can keep that kind of stuff going too, have fun and get free stuff, sign me up. I have no pride, trust me. I'm not trying to prove anything on here to anybody. I give up on all that. It doesn't matter anymore. We're just going to have fun. Uh, Saturday night was fun, you know, and it's like, it, it's almost like, you know, old friends getting together again. You know, once a week we have our get together. Uh, and it doesn't cost anybody anything. And we have new people that come in and they contribute. Uh, the contributions I get from these live streams makes it worthwhile. You know, and I've always said, the comments that I get on my channel and on my videos, the suggestions, you know, the advice, correcting things that I was doing or maybe was thinking the wrong way, yeah, I, it's worth it for all of that. Uh, there's no shame in my game if I don't know something or if I'm doing something and you know of a better way to do it, jump on it, man. I'm, I'm all for that. Uh, I have broad shoulders, but I I don't get my feelings hurt. You guys know that one by now. Uh, I don't think a video screen 
can hurt my feelings. But that's just me. What else is happening? I wanted to do a rant. I'm not going to talk politics this time or what's going on in the country. I, I want to complain about something. And I'm going to show you an example and then we'll get into it. So you're going to have to entertain yourselves while I find this. I'm going to my Lowe's app. And I want to show you something. Now, I took the 5.8 OSB out from my subfloor. And two of the three doors uh, I took out there. And the windows, the extra three windows I needed. So, and Menards uh, sent an email. The third door is ready. So I have to go pick up that, that third door. And I thought, you know what? I'm doing 7 16 sheathing around the house. I, I don't have the trailer, but I can put, you know, 15 sheets, 20 sheets in the bed of the truck and the door and take them out there. So I thought, you know what? Let me jump on Lowe's and order the sheathing, half the sheathing. So I want you to see something. I hope you can. This order was May 18th. I hope this shows up. It's hard for me to do this now. This order was May 18th. And you see, maybe, some 7 16th OSB. You see the price of that. $11.50 each. This is a stupid way of doing it, I'm telling you. Anyway, $11.50, how about 12 sheets? So if I click on that to reorder some, I click on it, three months later, it's $19.98 a sheet. That is about a 72% increase in three months. 72% increase in three months. Two befores. The last load of two befores I bought was two or three dollars and eighteen cents a piece, which was too much as it is. Right? But I look at the price of two befores, they're two sixty or three sixty seven a piece now. What is driving up the cost of lumber? this time you know we went the pandemic bullshit and the shortages and this and that and all these excuses why lumber went to ridiculous prices we got over that lumber started coming back down what is driving this now you know, I don't understand why the costs have to go up so much. Gas prices are down. Diesel prices are down. Transportation costs are down. It's greed. And the reason it's greed, and the reason why I say it's greed, everybody says, well, everybody's buying lumber now, you know. Inflation is down. That's all you hear from the left. From the liberals. Inflation is down. Bidenomics is working. Inflation is down. I say again. Inflation is not down. Inflation has slowed down. But prices are still inflating, if you will. They're still going up. They're not coming down. They're just going up at a slower pace than they were. That's all. He didn't stop inflation. That's never, don't buy into that. And that's what they try to twist words and make you think, okay, he, he stopped, inflation is down, so everything's getting rosier again. It's all, you got to think these things through, people. Just because the pace of inflation has slowed down doesn't mean inflation stopped or inflation is down. This is such a sensitive market we're in. Such an 
a, a sensitive economic environment that we're in that one little thing throws everything out of skew. You know, it, it's like Walmart started back in the 80s with just-in-time inventory. What that meant was they're just, uh, uh, to put it basically, they did not stock very much, but they knew through history when they needed to reorder an item just in time to restock the shelves. They could predict when they would sell out of that product, but have another load coming in to replace the stock. Not stock 1,000 pieces of inventory, but stock 100 pieces of inventory every three months, right? And by Walmart, the power of Walmart and the size of Walmart and the, and the control they had over the markets, they didn't buy, you know, you buy in quantity, you get a cheaper price. Well, Walmart, they committed to buying the thousand pieces, but they only wanted a hundred at a time for their just-in-time inventory, if this makes any sense. They got the thousand piece price, but they made the supplier deliver to them and broken down in, you know, a hundred a month or whatever. We did that in the in the direct mail industry. We knew that we would be buying 50 million envelopes in a, a 12 month period. So we got a price from the envelope manufacturer for 50 million envelopes. But you deliver us on a monthly schedule. We didn't have room to store 50,000 envelopes. And we didn't want 50,000 envelopes sitting in our unair conditioned humid warehouse where all the seals, all the flaps get stuck. So we would have fresh envelopes delivered every month, but at that 50 million price point. So that's how Walmarts are this just-in-time inventory. Well, everybody decided they was going to do that. Manufacturing can't do the just-in-time manufacturing you know, so now we're, we're, we're in a place now where the just-in-time inventory that everybody's trying to do is causing a bunch of shortages in different parts of, of the sectors. So, lumber is not necessarily one of them. But what has happened is because of inflation... Because of the Fed having to keep raising interest and mortgage rates going up, we're up over 8% now for mortgages, eight, right at 8%, right in that, that range. So, you know, look where we were three years ago. It's crazy what has happened. Two years ago, well, the cost of a new house in the last couple years has almost doubled. Mortgage rates have gone up to 8% and the price of a new house, the average has almost doubled. It's up about 75-80%. Look it up folks, I'm not lying to you. So now we're in a position where we can't afford to buy a new house. That part of the American dream is gone. They took that away from us. We have to fix up what we're living in. So now we have to buy material to fix up what we're living in. Lowe's, Home Depot, Menards, they all know that. Let's jack up that price because people can't afford to move. They're going to have to fix up what they got. Let's sell it all, you know, sell it at ridiculous prices because the people are going to have to buy it now. It's all greed. I want somebody from Lowe's Corporate to contact me and explain to me why 
your OSB went up 70% in three months. I want corporate to explain that one to me. If you have the balls to get a hold of me, it can be Lowe's, it can be Home Depot, it can be Menards. I want somebody from their board to contact me and explain to me why a 70% increase was necessary in a three month period. If you can justify that to me, then I'll make another video explaining why that's justified. And I'll support you on that if you can explain that to me. But that's anybody that works at Lowe's, pass this on up to your management or Home Depot or not, any of the stores that are doing this kind of stuff to people. You let me know. I'm trying to build a house. I have budgeted X number of dollars. I budgeted OSB at $15 a sheet because I was getting it for around $11 or $12 a sheet. I figured, okay, I better add a little bit because I can't buy it all at one time. I never suspected a 70% increase. So now I have to wonder, okay, what are my trusses going to cost now? What's my roofing material going to cost now? All of my sheathing went up 70%. My siding went up 70%. You know, can I build my house now? Because I didn't have $10,000 to spend at one time to order everything at once. So by me trying to work a second job, work another job, or get that money to try to buy material, right? You, I can't afford to build a house now. It's, it's getting, it's so ridiculous that nobody cares about us. You know, all you care about is, <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, sorry about the interruptions. Had uh, customers come in. Damn it. Can't believe they do that and interrupt me when I get on a roll. Anyway, yeah, I would like some justification. On just this, I mean, I don't, I, everything is going up. It's not just lumber. You know, everything is. The food, I, it's all. And what's really funny, now getting back to inflation and the numbers and the way they manipulate numbers, and one of the reasons why they can say inflation is slowing down is in the index that they use that they get the inflation numbers from, Gasoline and food is not included. Look at what you're paying for food today. Look at what you're paying for gas today. That's not included in the inflation numbers. That's why inflation is slowing down. Because they're not counting this stuff. So, it's all a lie. And so many people are buying it. That's why I started this, this video out with, you cannot convince people anymore. It's done. They are already brain fried. The, the, the brainwashing is done. They did it. They got enough of America either on their payroll with all these, you know, programs they're either brainwashed or they're on the government's payroll. And that's what you got to call it. They're taking our taxes and they put these people on the government payrolls. So they're all getting checks every month. So they're going to do whatever they're told to do. They will question nothing. Because they get their medical from the government. They get their food from the government. They get their rent from the government. They get their, their uh, electric bill from the government. government's paying all this stuff. So, they're not going to question anything the government does, and they're going to do whatever they're told. That's why the government has worked so hard to get these people in that position. The rest of them are just brainwashed. They believe they're, that the government's doing the right thing. This is a government that absolutely hates the American citizen. 
They hate us. That's why they're trying to replace us with all the illegals. And I'm tired of hearing about they're migrants, they're asylum seekers. They're none of that. They're illegal criminals that are being invited in to invade this country. That's what they are. They're not uh, asylum seekers anymore. They're not immigrants anymore. They're not migrants anymore. They're criminals who we are supporting. You know, I have to laugh at Mayor, at Mayor Adams in New York City. I have to laugh about that because how many times during his campaign and previous mayor say, New York City is a sanctuary city. We're always going to be a sanctuary city. They're crying their eyes out, needing more money from the government because they can't take any more of these people seeking sanctuary. Kiss my ass. Oh, it's been a rough night. <laughs> Some stuff I wanted to say. But yeah, we just keep on working. That's all we can do. I hope you don't mind my ranting. If it makes sense, let me know. If you agree with me, let me know. If you disagree with me, let me know. But I still challenge anybody on the board of any of the hardware companies to call me, send me an email, leave a comment on my YouTube videos, do something. I have a credit card for all three, for Lowe's, Home Depot, and Menards. So you know how to get a hold of me. You explain to me why 70% increase in three months is necessary. And by golly, I'll pay it with a smile on my face if you can justify it. Other than that, send me some lumber. <laughs> if you can't justify it, send me some damn lumber. Because <laughs> I can't afford to buy it now. It's just gotten that bad. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this by October. I don't think I'm going to be able to afford it. For the cost to have increased that much. I left a little bit of room in there for the cost to go up. But nothing like this. Nothing at all. And obviously, I mean, what I'm going to have to do is just throw out the credit cards. You know? I can go order my trusses. Okay, put 1000 on this credit card. Put 2000 on this credit card for the... Roofing material, put 2000 on this credit card. That's the only way I'm going to be able to pay for it. And that's what you want. That's exactly what your plan is. The 100 people who control everything, that's what you want. That's the position you've put us in. You know? Gail bought a little tub of margarine for four and a half dollars four and a half dollars for a small tub of margarine you know I wanted Cheetos the other night I love bag of Cheetos man I used to get those me and Max would share them or me and the girls Rex likes them Rosa likes them I told Gail pick up a bag of Cheetos right the regular bag of Cheetos six and a half dollars so needless to say I didn't get a bag of Cheetos you know, I can't, I don't know how you guys are doing it. I really don't. I have no idea. Gary gave me a bunch of tomatoes, cucumbers, garlic out of his garden. And that's fantastic. I mean, that kind of stuff helps. That's why we got to learn to garden. We got to learn to can. Gary's entire countertop, he sent me a picture with nothing but tomatoes and stuff. He's doing his salsa and canning, you know. Uh... So that's what I got to do. You know, it's what I got to learn. But folks, anyway, that's all I got to say. I just had to, to get a bunch of stuff off of my chest and say things that's probably going to get me kicked off of YouTube or get me demonetized or somebody's going to come and kick my ass, probably. Lowe's going to go out there and shut me down. <laughs> there were my credit cards for those companies. 
I guess I should have bought everything <laughs> before I ran my mouth because tomorrow morning I'm going to wake up all my credit has been canceled. <laughs> That's how they're going to get even with me. Oh, man. But yeah, I mean, I, had I known this was going to happen so rapidly, I mean, I might have, have you know, factored that into going ahead and getting the tractor when I did. I mean, it was nice to be able to get it at zero down and zero interest for eight years and, you know, be able to, to buy it like that. But still, that's $350 a month that I'm spending now uh, that just means I gotta work more <laughs> to work more hours which means I get to spend less time out there building the house it's all we're in a trap this is what they've done to us you know the American dream is gone we no longer have an American dream that's what I'm trying to say you know, move to Mexico, give up your U.S. citizenship, then cross the border illegally, and you can get all the free stuff from the government. That's what we all need to do. Go to Mexico, give up our U.S. citizenship, sneak across the border, become an illegal immigrant, a migrant, asylum seeker, and they'll give us all this money. You know, that's what that's how that's how to fix it. You know, then we don't have to pay any taxes. We get all the free stuff, we don't pay any taxes. Let somebody else pay for it. Let China loan more money. You know, send more money to Joe. Oh my gosh, I gotta stop. <laughs> uh hope y'all enjoyed this. Like I said, leave some comments. Let me know what you think. This is uh Joe. Here at the gas station. I'm out, folks. <laughs>